Alrighty, we're on to the next step, which is building the engine mount. Now, normally uh, you have to sand the fins, and then it shows you building the engine mount. I sand the fins and skin them, and then while they're drying, I do the engine mount in the next couple of steps that I can do because I have to let the fins dry for uh, 24 hours. All right, so we got the materials we need. We've got our uh, engine mount tube rings. We've got our engine block. We've got our engine hook. Also going to need our white glue or wood glue. We're going to need some sandpaper and our scalp, uh, scalpel or X-Acto knife. Dry fit everything. I'm not going to say that more times than I can care. Dry fit everything. First, we're going to take the tube, and we've got a little shine on the tube. That shine means that the glue can't really penetrate or grab. So I always like to scuff up or take off the shine with some sandpaper. So we're just going to sand it lightly all the way around and take off a little bit of that shine. So we've knocked the shine down a little bit. You can see it's a little bit duller and not quite as shiny. And we don't have to, you know, really, 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 really sand it. We just want to get it roughed up so that the glue can grab better. All right, now we're going to dry fit. Okay, that ring slides over fairly easily. Not too much trouble. I'm going to sand it just a little bit. So we've got sandpaper. And I'm using, uh, this is my uh, 220, I believe. And I'm just going to sand one edge. We'll go to the other edge. We're going to sand that. All the way around. And that's a little easier to slide over. I'm happy with that. Now the other one. Uh, a little bit too tight, so let's go ahead and sand it too. It's actually got a little bit of a defect right there. See the little piece of paper? So we can actually sand that off if we're careful. Just sand all the way around. You can see how I'm holding this. I can use, do this with a wooden dowel too. You can just take the wooden dowel and glue your tape to it, your sandpaper to it, and go around the edge. Now I'll go around the other side, all the way around. And you can see our little defect has pretty much disappeared. I'll try a sample fit. Okay, that slides on there, not too much difficulty. And then our engine block goes on the inside, and that slides in real easy. When we get ready to mount our engine tube into our main body, we're going to have to make sure that these rings fit in there fine also. So, <clears throat> we've got our engine hook and our tube. Our markings, according to the instruction, are at 1 inch uh, three inch and three and a half inch. So we'll take our ruler and we're going to go up one inch and we're going to make our first mark at the one inch. And you'll find out too that the tubes mark a lot easier when you scuff them up. Then we're going to go three inch and three and a half inch. Now how do we make sure that our engine hook lays straight on the tube? No problem at all. We're going to grab our angle aluminum and we're going to go ahead and put it up against my block, stop block here. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to draw a line from the one inch mark all the way down the tube. Now I've got a straight line to line my engine hook up on. And I can just carry my one marks over and make sure that they all go all the way across that line. Alright, so now we have to cut the slot for our engine hook. <clears throat> now our engine hook is going to go all the way up at the three and a half mark, inch mark. So we're going to flip it over. Don't stick your finger in the tube, you don't want to stab yourself. And we're going to cut a little slit, just big enough and this is again why you want to have that sharp, sharp X-Acto knife. We cut it in. And I know that this blade is actually the same width as an engine hook, maybe a little bit bigger, which is fine. But I am going to turn around, I'm going to do it the other way too, because that kind of evens out your hole. Now we'll do our test fit. And again, we're right up to that line, so when I glue this in place, I'll know I have my engine hook lined up straight, just by making sure I've got that line matched up. So boom, there we go. 
All right, so now we've got to glue everything in place. So we've got the engine hook on. We need to put our glue around our bottom ring. So we're going to take and we're just going to run our glue all the way around. Open up the tube, it always helps. So let's run our glue all the way around. Okay, now we're going to slide our ring from top to bottom. And remember, you want to move quickly because you don't want the glue to set up when you're halfway on. So we'll slide it down. Now you see why we checked our fit and sanded it to make sure it'd slide on easy because we now have the engine hook there and it's grabbing a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to wipe this glue around the rim like a fillet. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. That just gives it a little bit more grab, a little bit more stability. I'm going to go ahead and do a little fillet. This isn't a very big fillet, just enough to... You can see it. It just gives it a little bit more of a grab. And now I know that that's going to hold on there a little bit better. And you can see that that's not a whole lot of glue. That's just a little bit of glue all the way around. Again, all I'm doing is I'm trying to give myself a little bit better of a grab and I'm going to make sure that I have no stray glue on the outside of the ring because that will make it hard to mount in the tube when we go to put it in the main body. So we wipe all the way around. All right. Next one. We're going to go at our three inch mark. So we're going to put our glue all the way around. You don't have to dab a whole lot of glue, but you want to put a little bit more than just a smear because if you put on just a teeny amount, the ring will grab really quick and really hard and you'll have a hard time getting it to slide over. So now we're going to slide that down and make sure we're on there. Good grab. Careful not to dent your tube. And then we're going to smear that glue into another fillet all the way around. And if I keep disappearing on a camera angle, I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to this new camera system that I'm doing. Now I'm rolling it and I'm looking to make sure that my rings are straight. If my rings aren't straight, it's going to give me a funny, the ring's going to look like it's doing this. And they look like they're pretty straight, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure this top one's glued in just the same way. Little glue around the top. Let's smear that around for a good fillet. And remember, this fillet just gives you a little bit more reinforcing. It means that uh, it's less likely your engine mount's going to go flying out your uh, engine. Now we're going to take this and we're actually going to shove this down to where the engine mount is. So let's go ahead and put our glue in. And this one we want to put a little bit more than we need in. Because remember, it will grab if you don't put in enough. And we're going to give it a quick smear all the way around. You wipe up any stray glue off the edge. We're going to slide this in. All right. Now, to make sure that we aren't going to have glue running up the tube, which would interfere with inserting an engine, we're going to put it so it's face down to dry. If I were to let it dry on its side or anywhere else, that glue could run into the tube and come sideways, run down the sides, go sideways and pull, and then I have a piece of glue inside that I have to remove. So we're going to leave that standing up this way, uh, nose or forward in, point it down to the ground, aft in, point it up towards you, uh, the sky, so that we're able to let that glue dry inside and not run all over the place. So we're going to let that dry, and uh, we're going to read over the next step. And like I said, read over your steps before you do it. Read through the whole instruction, and then read over each step just prior to taking that step. And that way you're going to get a better uh, build out of it, and you're going to understand your instructions. Every time you're going to make sure you have all your stuff on your table that you need. So we're going to read the next step, and we're going to start the next part of the build as we get to it. All right, uh, we're going to do another step here. This is something I started doing a, a few years ago to most of my rockets. I've got some thin CA glue. And on my motor mounts, I'm going to go ahead and put 
a coating of Fencier glue all the way around the inside. And I'm going to smear it up around in there quite well. Now what this is going to do is this is going to strengthen it, the paper tubing. I'm doing it the uh, engine block side too. This is going to strengthen it up so now it's going to be able to withstand the pressures uh, of having an engine shoved in and out of it all the time. Uh, it's going to be able to withstand the, the uh, charge from deployment of the chute. And it's just going to make it more sturdy over time. It's not going to get tore up from uh, putting engines in and out of it. So we're going to let that dry up and then we're going to put it inside our body tube and we're going to uh, go ahead and start gluing our fins on. So as soon as that's dried up, we're going to do a little bit of a light sand on the inside to uh, get any, rid of any burrs in there. And then we're going to uh, glue that up. We're probably going to do the same thing down here. We're going to take the aft end of our uh, rocket here. And we're going to take the aft end of our, bot our fin tube. And we're going to go ahead and put glue around the bottom down here after we glue the engine tube in. And then we'll do the same thing to the top or the nose uh, where the coupler goes, or not the coupler, but the uh, the uh, adapter for the uh, top goes. So that now we can have our uh, our tube adapter. We can have that top of the tube just as strong, where the uh, ejection charge is going to wear and tear on it because your nose cone's coming in and out. So we're going to do some reinforcements on these and it's just going to help things last and uh, work a lot better for us.